Hey everybody, it's Chris again. Uh, today we're going to be doing the coin door. So this is just the stock kick panel um, for the asteroids. You can see the back of it is not painted. On my Mortal Kombat it was. So we are going to have to paint it because we're not going to, we're going to have these on the back. We're just going to flip it around. Uh, I took the sticker off, used a little goo gone on it for the it's a J or something like that on it. So, um, so what we're gonna do? Here's the coin door. I don't think on my last one I showed you the coin door like outside of the outside of being installed. So this is what it comes with: just this hardware, the keys. Did they give me an extra key, or is that one of mine? That might be an extra key. They're only supposed to give you two. <laughs> Of course, the door itself. Coin mech was coming off a little bit. So that's about it. They, they do give you the wiring. I'll show you how to wire this up. It goes on the normally open and the calm. I think, I think one is normally open and the other one is uh, the ground. So I'll show you how that works. We're gonna have to cut the ends off of these wires and wire them into a Molex. So we'll have to do a little bit of pinning and stuff like that, but it's not a huge deal. So I don't think we're gonna to get to that today because I don't have the, I mean, I do have an encoder. If you guys wanna see how to hook it up, how to wire it up, we, we could do that. So we'll see how things go. So this is, uh, 10 inches by seven. So we're just gonna measure that out square on our board here. So this is 18 minus 10 is eight. So we need four on either side. Oh wait, it's seven this way, my bad. So 11, so we want five and a half. We want five and a half on either side. That. Five and a half. Well, we should have seven that way. Perfect. And then from here we need 10 up the bottom. So that's also 18. So we're going to be going uh, four. Now we should have 10 and 7. Cool. So let's go over to the table saw and cut it out. Okay, so we asked my dad for help with the table saw because I'm actually a little bit afraid of the table saw and it's okay to ask for help sometimes. If you're using these tools like 
um, you're going over to a buddy's house or a friend or family member, it's okay if you don't want to, like, like if you're afraid to use them, because that's actually good, because you don't want to lose a finger or something like that. So we're going to let him cut this for us, and uh, yeah, so go ahead. all cut uh, with the table saw and just like yesterday when we did the monitor uh, with the miter saw uh, you know we got to clean up these corners get the rest of this out so we're gonna do that now So this could have been done with the miter saw. I consider just doing it with the miter saw again because that's the only one that I'm really comfortable using. Because the thing with the table saw is uh, your the wood can actually get caught up in there and bind up, and it'll throw it back at you, and that's pretty it can be pretty dangerous. So you really need to know what you're doing before you use that. But I just like to show kind of a range of ways to do things, so use whatever's available. Safety first, always. All right, so let's see if the door fits in here. And it fits. It's perfectly. So there we have it. That's part of it. The first part of it. Now the second part is the fact that this panel is only an eighth inch, so it's not thick enough to mount this coin door onto. So we need we can just use this strap left over from the monitor. And we can just make a little frame out of those out of some of these pieces here. So you don't have to buy anything special. Just use whatever you have laying around. These will never be seen, so you don't have to cut this perfect. get the hardware out. They gave me two sets of keys. Wow. <laughs> That's probably pretty good because it's going to a 15 year old and he's going to lose them. So <laughs> it's good that we have extras. Uh, they're the same keys that, uh, that came with my coin door. So I think this company, I think the keys that you get for these doors are always the same from this particular company. That way if you, if you have multiple, I mean it makes sense because if, if you have multiple coin doors on multiple machines, you probably don't want to keep track of all the different sets of keys.
bring this over here. Also notable is that you can't have this coin door mounted and then put the uh, put this panel down into your uh, cabinet. But I'm just kind of demonstrating here how to do it. You do actually have to do it while it's on on the cabinet. Now, I'm not sure, but I may actually have to trim these to length because I think I think there's some panels that run across the top and bottom that these might hit up against, but I'm not sure. So there you go. And then we're gonna paint this too. So let's take this take this back off. Let's trim these down to 10 inches and then we'll paint the front of this of this uh, kick panel okay we're ready to paint this is the same paint that I used for the bezel on the Mortal Kombat it's just like a gloss black spray paint Gonna do a few coats. You kind of want to be even. Especially as you get into the last coat or two, you want it to be. nice and even. For the first one you can kind of just do it like that. But, you know. Just let that dry a little bit. We'll go a different angle this time. From bottom to top. Starting to look a little better. So it might just need, you know, like five or six coats to look good, but. Trying to get it from all angles, that way it's you know really evenly covered. It's starting to look pretty good right now. I might only need to do one more coat. That actually looks pretty good. Let's give it about 20 minutes to dry, and then maybe we'll 
give it another coat. Okay, we're back. The panel's dry. It's nice, nicely painted. I actually like how it came out. You might want to do a laminate. It depends on kind of what you're looking for. A laminate would like be really smooth and like flat matte though. Um, this gives it kind of like a textured appearance, which is really close to, I mean, it looks just like the panels that are on the newer machines like uh, the MK and kind of matches, you know, what's on this cast iron door. So um, I got the uh, door back on there. And then here's the key for the MK. Like the keys all work from, it seems like they give you all the same keys. I think I mentioned that before from that company. So that's it. Coin door is installed. Um, at some point we're going to wire it up. We're going to get it wired into the Raspberry Pi and everything. I don't have the Pi yet. It was supposed to come in on Thursday and Amazon said it's been delayed until tomorrow. So maybe we'll do something with that next weekend. We'll see. But uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. See you next time.